Hearing aids are a tiny piece of technology that can be life-changing, and that technology continues to evolve. CBS 2 News reporter Brittany Borky tells us how the answer could be in the palm of your hand. Yeah, Tiffany, in just as few as five years, you could, you could be doing something as simple as walking from a quiet garage out into a noisy parking lot, and your hearing aid could adjust to fit this exact situation. The information could be coming from people across the world, but the research is starting right here in Iowa. Well, basically, this is a, a smartphone, and it's much smarter than I am. But we try. Luckily, Max Molliston doesn't give up easily. Smartphones are new to him, but he's becoming a whiz as he swipes into this survey app. And it says start, start survey, so that means that action for me. The survey wants to know Max's reaction to a specific listening event. Were you listening to speech? Yes, I was listening to speech. And how well his hearing aid adapted to it. In general, could you tell where the sounds were coming from right away? Oh, not necessarily. But the data Max is providing could help him and many others tell where sound is coming from faster, easier, and with more clarity. Researchers at the University of Iowa are collecting information like this from dozens of hearing impaired people. They say over the next five years, it will not only create a better hearing aid, but also feed infinite sound information to your ear from the cloud. If you go to the symphony, as opposed to going to a rock concert, your hearing aid should reflect a different configuration, which would give you the best uh, hearing experience for that specific situation. Good news for Max. I can hear a lot of sounds a lot better, sounds that I wasn't hearing. Well, I just want people to hear better. If they're short of their hearing, they're missing out on a lot of life. The researchers say that as more baby boomers continue to age, more people will need this kind of technology. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Brittany Borgie, CBS 2 News. Luckily, we got Jason Hackett out from behind the wheel and honking his horn.